Well, how y'all doing, folks? It's Papa again. And it occurred to me that maybe I need to do this quick video. Because there may be some other people out there 60-something years old that didn't know there was a right way and a wrong way to do the safety chains on your boat. I, uh... I never thought that it made a difference. Didn't even think about it making a difference about which way to do these chains. I always did whatever I need to do to make sure my chains didn't drag the ground. Okay, and uh, if the chains were short, I hooked them up one way, and if they were long, I hooked them up another. And anyway, let me show you the proper way and explain why it is considered the proper way. First of all, let me get in position here. Okay, so we're going, to get, we're going to get up here, and we're going to lower the ball down on the. We're going to lower the hitch down on the ball. I've sprayed this with some white lithium grease because these right here always want to be a, be stubborn. You know, they sit out in the weather, all that. Need some good lube on that right there. Let me lower this down a little bit. And once you got your latch, latch secured, I do recommend a lock. And the reason I recommend a lock is because anybody could just, you know, if you got a little nut and bolt in here, anybody just pull it and steal your trailer while you're out fishing. They could also just unpin, unpin your reese hitch down there and just take the whole hitch with them. So you can buy a pin that locks on these too. But anyway, this I just got this on here just so I can, just so it don't vibrate loose. The next step though is our chains, and that's the way the chains are on the trailer right there. And I never knew. That you supposed, I never knew the reason that you supposed to cross them. And by crossing, I mean the chain that comes from this side over here needs to hook up on this side over there. And the chain from that side over there needs to hook up on this side over here. And you say, well, why in the hell does that matter? Well, by having this cross right here, they, cl they claim that that creates what's called a cradle. Oh, of course you gotta hook up your lights. We're not gonna hook up the lights because I gotta turn this thing loose. Anyway, <clears throat> this forms a cradle so that if your boat falls, if this comes loose, this hitch is gonna fall right into here and you're not going to be dragging the ground with it and it's not going to be going all over the place and then to give you time hopefully to slow down and get pulled over and stop. But that's what that does. Let me show you the difference. If you do it that way, this comes loose. There ain't nothing keeping this trailer from hitting the ground. See? So that's just a helpful hint from Paw Paw. Be safe out there. I actually had a trailer come loose from the truck one time. I was 16 years old. I was hot, dragging a a uh, trailer made out of a pickup truck bed 
and the latch was all kinds of sloppy and that latch bounced and come loose even though it was secured with a bolt it still came off that ball and went going buggity 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 right down the right down the fortunately my right side and it couldn't couldn't have been a better place for it to come loose because it was a big wide open gravel area flat area and it went bouncing across there and i'm looking over out my pasture window and i'm going damn that looks just like my trailer i look at my rear view man i said that is my trailer and i whip over there <laughs> chasing my trailer now i chasing my trailer out across that dead gum gravel lot it finally come to a rest I hooked her back to the truck and I was real careful driving it the rest of the way to the dump and then back home but uh I am a believer in safety chains and of course I bought this this boat and all comes with that chain but I'm not satisfied with the chain. I'm going to get me a heavier one to put on there, maybe a 3 8 Anyway, folks, I hope you learned something from this video. There is a reason that you cross them chains. Ain't that something? Y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Don't forget, we got a drawing coming up August the 14th at 6.30 p.m. Central Time. We're going to, we got over $700 worth of stuff right now to give away. Amazing. Going to be the biggest giveaway show I've ever hosted. Over $700. Make sure you're there. Make sure you know how to enter and all that good stuff. Safe. Uh, oh. Take care. Bye, everybody. Secret code word. Safety. Y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye, everybody.